Introducing God's Learning Channel's brand new Amazon Bookstore, your gateway to a world of wisdom and faith. Our Amazon Bookstore offers a remarkable collection of dozens of hand-picked items, carefully curated to enrich your spiritual journey. From a wide selection of traditional Christian and Jewish Bibles, to Judaica treasures, biblical holiday merchandise, and even beautiful jewelry. Our Amazon Bookstore has it all. Conveniently shop from the comfort of your own home at any time. Just visit our website or stop by our online bookstore. Or better yet, simply find us on Amazon to embark on a transformative shopping experience. New items are added regularly, so remember to always check back. Shop now and embrace the blessings that await you. Hi friends, we at GLC would like to take a quick moment to thank you for watching our programs on this platform. And we'd like to ask you for a little favor. Would you please go beneath this video and click the subscribe button? Did you know that by simply subscribing to the GLC YouTube channel, you can help us financially support the programs on this platform? You'll need to be signed into YouTube beforehand. But if not, simply click the subscribe button and YouTube will automatically walk you through the steps to sign in or to create an account. By taking these simple steps, you will not only ensure that you continue to receive our unique programming and gain instant access to the hundreds of videos we post, but more importantly, you'll also be telling YouTube that GLC's content is worth watching and promoting. Likewise, if you enjoyed a specific program, please click the thumbs up button below, which also helps inform YouTube that this is a program worth recommending. Finally, once you have logged in and subscribed, Please click the notification bell below in order to receive announcements when we post new content. As usual, feel free to post your questions and comments in the comments section below. We always love hearing from our friends and viewers. Again, thank you for watching and supporting God's Learning Channel. We couldn't spread the message of the gospel without you. Be blessed, and we hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to World on the Street, folks. Brad Blocker and soon to be Alexa Thanks, Blocker joining in, in a second. And this guy's incredible brother. And I tell you what, Brad, it's so good to see your face. How you doing today? Thanks, Brad. Man, I'm doing great. We have an overcast guy today. We've been needing rain. We got a little bit last week, hoping for some today. Doesn't, doesn't look like we're getting it, <laughs> but it, it was hopeful for a while. It was well, you know, it was hopeful. I, I hope that you do. I, I wish some of that rain uh, right there in West Texas, where we recently were. We were, saw each other again at the Ron Till gathering at Higher right. Bones right there in Midland. So glad. Uh, yeah, we had a good time. Well, you know, for people who haven't been to one of those, what would you, how would you describe that? I, uh, I, I think it was very genuine. Uh, Ron and his wife, they're great people. And, um, it's it's a good old school faith meeting, and uh, and the Holy Spirit was invited, and uh, I'm I'm thankful for that meeting. It's uh, it's a good honest meeting. Well, I'm thankful for you and your your call to ministry, um, and of course I'm glad that you got connected with Ron Till and Trisha Till, and uh, yeah, there's there's quite a journey ahead of you, Brad. You know, I first met you, uh, it, it, I think it was at, at a tent, an outdoor prayer event. I think it was the first time. In Odessa, a historical one, the largest one in the history of the of the day National Day of Prayer uh, in Odessa. Jamie Berry Hill was was heading up some of that incredible man, and you were running sound man. And I yeah. teased a little bit when I saw you, man, sharp sharp young man here, and and running sound. I had no idea uh, that not only have you volunteered your time and your talents uh, to people. Uh, you know, who, who, uh, who didn't have what you had, you know, with sound or help and such, but you also have been active uh, doing ministry in Mexico city uh, yeah. without even at that time, even speaking Spanish, you were just going right. down. Tell people about that. Well, uh, when I met my wife, we had a mutual friend that lived in Midland that introduced us. And uh, when I met her, she was down in Mexico city doing a radiology program. It was right. a four-year program, and uh, the first weekend I visited Mexico City, the Lord drug us into a, a small church. I mean, it was, it was really amazing how it happened. We were out walking around on a Sunday morning. We heard praise and worship music coming out of the side of a building. Uh, there wasn't a steeple, wasn't a steeple or a cross. There was no way of knowing there was a church going on except for 
we just heard the praise and worship and we walked over there kind of kind of went back and forth whether to go in or not we ended up meeting them and uh, the lord made a lot of connections and uh, we started doing uh, missionary efforts with that little church and uh, we know the family really well now and uh, we've we've done a lot of different mission efforts you know one of the big notable things is is uh, the hospitals down there they're not used to having a minister Okay, so here in the States, right. we, we have a ministry staff in a lot of hospitals. Right, right. We don't have a staff. There's a local pastor or pastors that visit the hospital on a regular basis. They're not used to that in Mexico City. And uh, we would show up to the hospital and they would ask us, what, what are you doing here? You know, what's your, what's your plan? And sometimes we would have to make multiple phone calls, uh, plans far ahead of time. We'd show up and, you know, the Lord would open the door. We get there. They were very uh, suspicious. They thought we had some sort of ulterior motive. And uh, but we told them the motive is to present Jesus, to pray for people, to help them, bless them the best we can. And, uh, you know, we would pray for the, the administration staff and they would have encounters with the Holy Spirit. And then that would open the door for us to go into the rest of the floor and pray with the patients. So cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The Lord literally opened the door. <laughs> you know, you know that's that's a incredible ministry. You know, I've, I've heard it said, "Who you are is is who you are when nobody's watching." You know, right, right. And the kind of minister you are too, when you're ministering, folks, you're all ministers if you know the Lord and you love people with His love. Mm -hmm. But you know, you don't have to have a big stage, big fanfare. No. You, you didn't have to have big posters that make you look like a giant, you know, proclaimer. You didn't have to have any of that. You had a heart for Jesus. And I, I'm not knocking uh, those things. Uh, well, I, actually, I'm a little bit. If, 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 you're, if your ministry poster looks like a Hitler propaganda piece, uh, you're on the wrong track, folks. No. You know, it's about Jesus. And, and, you know, Jesus didn't have to introduce himself. People knew who he was. And for those who may not have known his name, they found out pretty fast who he was by what he did and by what he said. So many times, you know, we want a big audience when Jesus didn't have a big audience when he was talking to uh, the woman at the well. Here comes our special guest. <laughs> you know, hey, oh, all right. Moving <laughs> time for the, for, for the lovely Alexa. How you doing, Alexa? <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can't wait for Christy to meet you, Alexa. Yeah. You know, I, I was impressed with Brad. I was impressed with his heart, you know, uh, love, uh, love for people, love for Jesus, you okay. know. And uh, but I tell you, behind every good man, I think is a better woman. And Alexa, <laughs> you are you are a, a light and a spark. Everywhere you go, but I also know you're that way for Brad, too. Both of you love Jesus, and both of you love people. And yeah. People can see that. You, you, you ever see ministry couples where they hate each other? Or, you know, they don't really, they don't really you know, uh, love people. They're kind of caught up in, in their ministry, and, and they're forgetting that, that uh, uh, ministry tasks are something you do, but People who love people, that's something you are. Yeah. You Amen. are you the is or you isn't. But so <laughs> you brother. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that sweet words. Thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, well, it's true. Uh, Alexa, now how did you meet uh this this good looking man from America here? <laughs> well, uh, um a common friend introduced us uh like uh, six years ago. Something like that. Six years ago. And, well, we don't talk much at that time, you know. Uh -huh. We were thinking that he's so far away. Maybe I'm not interested for a far relationship or something like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but one day he made a post on Instagram, the painting of Print of Peace from uh -huh. uh, of Akiana. Um Remind that painting, Titi. I don't. I don't know if the if you're if you're familiar, Brant, with the, the Prince of Peace painting. It was. Uh, it I'm was in the right now. Heaven is for real. 
Heaven is for oh, real. Yes, yes, that picture of Jesus that that child drew. Yeah. Yes, a Ukrainian girl painted Jesus. Uh, she was really young. Do you remember how old she was? Eight years old. Eight years old. Yes, yes. And, uh, and the the little boy Todd Burpo, when when he uh, died in the in the operating table, he uh, his spirit left his body, and he saw Jesus and met Jesus, and he came back, told his family, and and they said, "What does he look like?" And they Google searched and. They found that painting, and the little boy said, "This is him. That's what he looks like right there." I'm, I'm looking at it right now, and, and I tell you what. I, and, and we yeah. actually, we recently got to meet the artist. We we got to meet. That was a no testimony way. to the Lord. That was a testimony. Is this painting? Yeah. Yeah. You, wow. So you met the artist? Wow. Yes. Well, the Lord made that. <laughs> it was another deal. We were sharing our testimony with a woman. And she said, well, I know the man that owns that painting <laughs> and uh, he's starting a museum and we want to invite you to the opening of the museum. That's in Marble Falls. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So the, just the, like that. It's called a new show. neighbor that we have. Well, it was a new neighbor. I mean, yeah. you just wake up, say hi. And she asked the same question that you asked me before. How you all met each other? Uh -huh. and to share the, the story. And I start to, to share this. The, well, I saw that post. January 1st, I mean, I was looking, roll on my Instagram and he made that post. And I'm pretty sure that I heard a voice that said he's different. But I didn't understand at that time because I was Catholic. I didn't know about the Holy Spirit. I didn't know nothing about it. Wow. And I put a like <laughs> and made a comment. And he made me in private. What was the comment? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he tested me in private, you know. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, and, yeah, I asked him, uh, do you have WhatsApp? And he said, no. And in 40 seconds, he said, I have it now. <laughs> oh, a oh, oh, little motivation, brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we started talking in WhatsApp and um, well. Here we are now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you, man, you know, <laughs> Jesus brought you together. And and the, the picture that you post, you ended up being invited to the opening of the museum from the yeah. owner of that picture. You, don't you see the amazing story of destiny there with you, too? Oh, yeah. Or, it was beautiful. Yeah, it all came together. It was beautiful. Uh, Alexa's friends with the artist's sister-in-law now. <laughs> She's also Whoa. Columbia. She's from Colombia too, so we we text pretty frequently. Yeah. <laughs> See, you know, yeah. Psalm one thirty nine. Your 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 life has already been written, folks, and it's true. It's true. Yeah. And yeah, it's I live it. You live it. And now you, now you're on a farm there outside of the of the city, which you know, hey, this day and age, folks, uh, you know, look alive. They're going to be pushing synthetic, lab grown meat. Uh, they're going to be pushing all kinds of things uh, that they've planned on for a very, very long time. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, Jesus didn't comply with uh, the Pharisees and the system there. And uh, a lot of Samson didn't comply. Gideon didn't comply. Moses didn't comply. Abraham didn't comply. Are you going to comply, folks, uh, with madness and this drive to bring us to the, the uh, uh, Castle Society, One World order new world order that bush yeah, come quick. yeah. So, all that say is you know you, you folks are, are living the ministry but on, on a pragmatic level uh you're also you know ha have, have, having a mind of of preparedness now Colombia is where you're from alexa but there's something special going on in Colombia with you two and Colombia. Mm -hmm. tell me about that yeah so we were um we had a dream to start to plant a church in her home city of Cartagena. Wow. And if anybody wants to know about Cartagena, it's a beautiful Caribbean city. Yes. And um, well, we had been praying about it and keeping our eyes open and we found a wonderful couple. They, they helped us in ministry. We, we uh, recently were there and we held a meeting. Um, Alexa hosts a prayer meeting for the past three years now. Wow. And it's mostly. Yeah, it's full of Latin American people. It's in Spanish. A uh, large portion is from Colombia. And uh, we took that group and, and we invited them to a meeting that we put together last time we were there. 
And um, this other couple helped us with the meeting. We got to know them and they had a home church. And from that, we started explaining some, some dreams that we had for Cartagena. And now we have a church and this happens so fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, our, our pastor down there, he's also a remodeler. And uh, we got we got the lease drawn on the property. And within a month, that place had been remodeled and opened for service. And uh, the second week it was open, it was standing room only at the second service, two services on Sunday Whoa. Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon. And uh, the first one was pretty busy. The second one was over full. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wow. Praise wow. the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have people walking off the streets. Asking our pastor, hey, uh, we, we want to know more about God. Tell us Jesus. about Jesus. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> Just help me. As soon as the sign was up, they started walking up. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's, there's nothing like feeding the hungry. There's nothing like ministering to people who are hungry mm-hmm. and who need the Lord. You know, um, I've said kind of jokingly, but I'm thrilled to go into the world with media and music and and uh, events and things because I'm, I'm I'm not jazzed by ministering to people who think they know everything, yeah. uh, who don't think they need anything. Yeah. It's kind of Goldilocks. Oh, this porridge is too hot. This porridge is too cold. This porridge is just right, you know. But if Goldilocks is hungry, she wants porridge. Doesn't yeah. matter if it's hot or cold or just right. Mm-hmm. And it's so rewarding to minister to people who are hungry. They know they need a savior. They know they don't know everything. Right. Yeah. Because the Amen. truth is those who think they know everything are, are proving they know nothing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, you know, to, to, to minister to the hungry, literally, and then to go into the hospitals in Mexico city and, and pray for people. Uh, when we take that for granted up here, you know, it's still, it's still appreciated, you know, but, but uh, I went to Tampico in 1995, uh, you know, I was already burned out in ministry in 95. I started in 83, and I was, um, ordained, I was ordained wow. in 93. In 95, I was already burned out. And uh, <laughs> before Bible call. And, uh, and so uh, uh, we, we learned enough Spanish to say, can I pray for you? And you know what? Nine out of ten would say yes. They, people, people know they need prayer, and the people... Uh, and, and I'm not just saying this because of, of you, Alexa, but Brad, I think you would agree that the passion uh, of, of l- l- Latino people, uh, the passion for worship, the passion for life, the passion for family, uh, yeah. you know, is, is so far greater than anything I see in America. And I love that. Those people brought me back to life. Um, but yeah. the hunger is out there, folks. People need the Lord. Some of you watching right now. Uh yeah. You're seeing things unfold. The Bible's true after all, huh? And yeah. <laughs> everything it talked about is true, huh? You know, yeah. you, you know, you you may have been turned off to church. I get it. I get it. But <laughs> Jesus ain't the church. Jesus is yeah. Jesus. And you know, the other night, Alexa, we got to see you too at the Ron Till gathering at Higher Ground mm-hmm. in Midland, Texas. And again, yeah. people just love you. Uh, did, did it feel like you were among Jesus people the other night? I hope it would hope it did. <laughs> Well, yeah, it was absolutely amazing that night. I mean, we can feel the Holy Spirit. Everything was around the Lord, talking about Jesus, sharing testimony. For me, it was super important to be there. We we really feel in the same page, you know. We feel that, uh, I feel that I, I know these people a long time ago, but just because the center is the Lord. It's Jesus is the, the only one that could brought together like that. Mm-hmm. In so a lovely and sweet place. And I mean, I feel really good that day, that night. And well, you playing the piano, worshiping the Lord. I mean, what's amazing? What's amazing? Well, thank you. I'll, I'll pay you later for saying that. I appreciate that. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm inclined to learn a few songs in, in, in Espanol and come to Colombia. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're I welcome there. You. Yeah. I, I just love to come see it. Uh, oh, you know, yeah. it, it, it's amazing. You know, um, all over the world, from Egypt to Germany, to America, to Colombia, to Mexico, and, and, and beyond, uh, Jesus is is always been making himself known. But 
in these days right now, more than ever in dreams and encounters and in visions, you know, there, there was an Egyptian right off of Honey Island and on the Nile uh, when we were there and, and he, Jesus appeared in his boat. And of course they, they call him Isa, you know, or is Isa or Isa. He appeared in his boat and he said, who are you? And he said, I'm Isa. And oh, wow. the, the Muslim man, no, what a dream. Muslim man said, I, I've been thinking about you. And Isa wow. said, I've been thinking about you. Mm. Wow. And he, he left and that man went to his village and shared the gospel of Isa, of Jesus. And they, and they killed him after that. Yeah. But he, but when I talked to people in Egypt, he said, uh, one woman in, in one of the underground churches we were working with, uh, Brant, he's appearing. He said, she said, there's a lot of us who believe in Issa now because he's appearing to us in dreams. And he's, he's appearing in right in front of us too, in rooms. And it's, it's Issa. It's Jesus. Yeah. And, yeah. <clears throat> you know, in any language, uh, Jesus is Jesus. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, they know who he is. Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to megaphone anything. It's, yeah. God is love. And, yeah. and to Jesus, you'll know his disciples by their big buildings and magazines and TV shows. That's, that's yeah. all fine. You'll know his disciples <laughs> yeah. by, their, by their love for one another. And Brad, I can't imagine how cool it is to, to see those believers in Colombia and, and as passionate as they already are. And then when you man, add man. Jesus to the mix, man, that must be something. It's amazing. It's amazing. You know, um, the, the thing that I can't stress enough is that we're not doing it for us. Right. We're doing it for them. And, uh, you know, we're humble. We're, we're really just getting things started. You know, we don't, we don't have huge backing. We don't have, you know, a, a lot of resources. But the Lord is more resource than we can imagine. Amen. He's done things that we just... It was a dream just a few months ago. Yes. And it's come to fruition and, and then some. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, you know, I believed in the supernatural. Right. When I, when I read the Gospels, I saw the things. I read the things that Jesus did. And, uh, and then I read John 14, 12. Yeah. Jesus said, those, those who believe in me will do the things that I have done and more so. And when I read that, I said, I received that, Lord. I said, I don't want to say I know you, but not be able to do the things that, that you would have me do. Right. And uh, I want to be able to prove you where I go. And, uh, and it's for your glory, not mine. It's not a market. I'm not marketing him. I'm showing people that he's real and they feel his love and they're sold out. It's game over. Yeah. I've never done a debate in Latin America. I've been to Latin America and represented Jesus, uh, I don't know, uh, six, six to eight times now over the years. And a lot of it's been online. We do a lot of meetings online uh, regularly, oh, you know, yeah. and, and Alexa, she's the workhorse. She, she hosts the prayer meeting every week for three years now. We've had well over 100 people on the Tuesday night meetings. It averages about 75 and a lot of that has to do with the limitations of the meeting size, the call. You know, you have to accept every single individual. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will, and everything was after, just right after our wedding, that the start wasn't in our mind either. Just we got married, and well, you want to share that part? Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, I invited my uh, a good friend of ours mm -hmm. he's an evangelist he's been working in columbia for uh he's probably on his 15th year now and we flew him up he was from the southern part of the country we flew him up to cartagena he married us and we let him lay down a strong gospel message during the wedding yeah and uh, it was during covid uh alexa had like 300 friends watching on youtube wow for <laughs> For our whole honeymoon, we spent like four days in Miami after that. Her phone kept, kept blowing up. Yeah. People kept calling, texting, saying, I don't understand what happened to me. I was crying. I was, I was, crying. I was crying during the wedding. I, I felt something so powerful. And we spun that into the Tuesday night meeting so that people could get the gospel, 
they could understand that those feelings that they got, that received during that message during the wedding, that's Jesus Christ. That's the Holy Spirit touching you yeah, and helping people understand that he has a purpose for their life. Yeah. And we've seen miracles. Yeah. We've seen we've seen documented cases where women have been uh, cured from cancer. Yeah. Wow. The virtual. First, I mean, I was I, I asked to the Lord, Lord, virtual. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's through online media. I mean, it's, um, it's unbelievable. It ha- uh, we start six people. Six people. Just right now, we are eighty-five every Tuesday. Really? What? What time? What time? Yeah, what time? Eight, Eight p.m. But there are people that join in Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Colombia, and even there are from here in the United States too. Yeah. So it's eight p.m. right now for Colombia, but here in Texas, seven p.m. Yeah. Oh wow. And wow. it's amazing. So, it's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, so cool. Well, both of you are are a breath of fresh air, and and um, you know they not only love you in Colombia, they love you here. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Brad. Thank you. <laughs> how, how would you encourage people right now? That uh, first off, how would you encourage people that they've stayed away? They've seen the results of ugly religion. But they're drawn to Jesus, and they're seeing the Bible is true. Okay. But they don't know what to do with that. But they know that there is evil. It's, evil isn't hiding anymore. Yeah. Yeah. There's the light. How, how would you encourage those people right now? What would you tell them to do? Brant, I first of all, I would say if the Lord say he'll never leave you or forsake you. If, if you want him, he's going to be there. And you have to look at his word and understand all the promises that he gave you. You know, um, John 14, six is something that I quote to people all the time, that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life that no man gets to the father except through him. We have to have Jesus. There's no other way. Our, our works are as filthy as rags. His sacrifice paid the price. And we had to have that sacrifice for thousands of years. Men gave a sacrifice, but it was only temporary And it only covered sin. It didn't wash it away like the ultimate sacrifice, Jesus Christ. And we have to have him. We have to trust him. And once we start stepping out, honoring him and and helping his people, many people need that simple message that I just shared. Once you start sharing that and once you start helping and giving and uh, just letting go of yourself, forgetting about leadership, leadership makes ministry seem so intimidating. Mm. But the truth is the Great Commission was for all of us. Yeah. And when you read the Great Commission, go for it. Read it, receive it, and go for it. And he has a position for all of us, and he'll give you gifts. They're spiritual gifts. And once you once you find your gifts and you start operating in them, and God's power is on parade in front of people who may not even believe in him, once they see and feel his love, yeah. It changes everything. It changes everything. So, so yeah. fear will keep a man on the wrong side of his, his destiny. Once we break through that in the name of Jesus and follow him, we're going to see him work. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your evangelist here. <laughs> in action. In action. <laughs> in action. My, well, I love it, Brad. And Alexa, yeah. love you too. Uh, a- Amy Christian, we, we're actually recording this live um, streaming as we record this too for you folks for, for television. Podcast. Virus, yeah. And yeah. Amy Christian says hello. She and Jared, incredible couple, yeah, beautiful God bless them. family. Can't wait to interview them as well. The things that they're doing yeah. Um, yeah. around the world in the uh, in, in West Texas as well. Uh, but, you know, it, it's time that we're coming together. We're locking shields. You know, um, people see me interview a lot of celebrities, rock stars, movie stars, blah, blah, blah. They're just people, folks. They're just people. Uh, The the marketing, the image, it's all it's all pretend. It's all fluff. Uh, But what we do is we use media to communicate the truth when we have fun with it. You know, um, truth. We we don't have to pretend to be something we're not. And and you find that, that a lot of these personalities, they're just real people. And a lot of them, most of them actually end up coming to Jesus because that they do all the things and get all the things this world says you need to be happy. They reach the top of the mountain to look over and there's nothing there. Yeah. All you need is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. All you need yes. is God. 
Uh, yeah. The best part of my life is God, man. And yeah. I'm not saying church, uh, but God. And, you know, for the first time since AD uh, 314 or 317, depends on who you talk to, the church has been let out of quarantine, uh, let out of the buildings and back into the marketplace, back into the streets. And, and there's a lot of great churches out there. We love you. Uh, but there's also a lot of gatherings happening uh, hair salons and Walmart and even during COVID bars and casinos and in the homes and on the streets the way it should be as well. But I'm thankful for both of you. Thank you so much for who you are, Brad and Alexa. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank Can't you wait till next thank time. You, thank we you so you. much. Thank yeah. you so much. We God love you too. You. God bless you.